albeit social media can be absolutely amazing, we do have to use it wisely because it can have a detrimental effect on, on how we feel, on stress, anxiety, panics, and it can make us feel and think very negatively. So we'd like to share with you a little film with some tips on how you can manage your social media better so it doesn't affect your mental health in a detrimental way. Managing your social media is really important. I mean, let's face it, it can be a lot of fun. It means we can connect with friends, we can buy things, we can have a giggle with certain things. But there is a side to social media and the use of social media that, quite honestly, can affect us in a negative way. And that's something that we really need to be aware of because if we're not feeling great, we're going to feel worse. If we're feeling okay, we could actually start to feel bad. Who you follow on social media is your choice. What you do on social media is your choice. Don't lose sight of that. So if anyone's offensive, if anyone's upsetting you, if anyone's making you feel bad, block, mute, or simply unfollow. Yeah, and on that note, actually, if you find that you're comparing yourself to people on social media, then that's somebody that you, you might want to mute or block or stop following. Because you know you shouldn't be looking at anybody's life or any device and thinking or feeling bad in any way. So really be aware of who you're following. And don't forget that a lot of people only post like the amazing things. They even stage things, actually, to make it look really good on social media. And then we've got Photoshop as well. So it's really a, an unfair comparison to look at social media and compare that to you and to your life. In essence, you should only, the only person you should ever compare with is yourself. And just so you can see that you are progressing and your life is getting better. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. So another thing that you can do is, is to look for positive accounts. I know that we, we, yeah. we like to laugh, so we tend to look and follow things that are going to give us a giggle. But do the same. Look at things that are going to make you feel great. Look for accounts that may be um, you know, positive messages. You know, we share positive messages, motivational messages, like all the time. So follow us, follow accounts like ours that are actually going to make you feel better about yourself. Yeah, and what's also important is do not entertain any trolls. I know that pe some people are out there just to make offensive comments just to get a reaction. And don't ever do that because all that will happen, they'll come back with something worse. Yeah. So if anyone's like that, then simply block them, mute them, and do not entertain them yeah. at all. Completely agree with that. Do not take the bait because they literally, like Nick, they literally live for that. We actually met somebody who admitted to That's us right. that they were an online troll, and it completely blew our minds. That they all they want to do is get a reaction. Yeah, that was all, and, and and this person found it really funny. She said, "Oh, do you know what? When you get a reaction, it's like yes." That's one point. And it was like, me. how offensive can I get? Yeah, and, and yet it wasn't ever personal. It literally wasn't. It was never actually about about the person. It was just about getting a rise out of them. So honestly, be so careful of that because people can really impact how you feel and they don't deserve it. So the next thing is um, that you may have already heard of this, but blue light. So the, uh, a mobile phone, a device, it emanates a blue light. And what that actually does is affects melatonin. And that is um, a hormone that helps us to sleep. So the rule really is to you know dim the lights on your phone and try not to use your phone too close to bedtime. I, I remember reading a study uh, where 1,700 young people took part in this study. And they were asked to um, to look on their social media for 30 minutes before they went to bed. And under, you know, as you'd expect, it did actually have a negative effect on them. It, it, it helped, it, it, it impaired their sleep. And uh, they actually are reported to feeling worse for having actually used their social media late at night. Don't forget, social media is there for your enjoyment. So if there's any problems, if there's people uh, contacting you that you don't like, you can always put your accounts on private. Mm. And therefore, by doing that, you're just allowing in the people that you want to speak to and you want to deal with, and anyone else, they just can't. Yeah, and don't forget, like I said, you know, there is a really positive side to, to social media too, because you know you can you can make friends, you can hook up with old friends. Oh, ab absolutely, it's it's great, yeah, and I know you know I don't want to sound too negative here, but ultimately, it's all about you enjoying social media and protecting your mental health. Exactly, it, that's the top line: is protect yourself. Now, if for any reason that you know your self esteem has taken a battering because of how somebody has treated you or made you feel, then do take a look around our YouTube channel because we have got lots of tips to help raise confidence and to help raise your self-esteem 
And we also have a brand new book, Everyday Confidence, that also covers other topics with lots of tips and techniques to help as well.